YouTube, Sam here. Well, I got my still back made in the USA Craftsman ratchets here, and actually a uh, made in the USA uh, Blackhawk. Uh, looks like a pretty old one. Uh, I'm not thinking I I don't see any way of tearing this one apart. I'll have to look at it a little bit deeper. But uh, what I'm going to be doing is these are starting to uh, kind of skip a beat, for lack of a better term. Um, uh, they're not ratcheting real well. The actual in here, you can't hear the click very well. And this one actually, it almost doesn't click at all. You see, you can't even tell. They're still kind of holding, but this one definitely, every now and then, it'll kind of jump on me. Uh, this one still seems to be working pretty well, but it, like I said, you can still hear that. And I know you can rebuild these, um, but I'm afraid to bring these in for two reasons. Um, they've changed the ratchets all together to where they're plastic. Um, this one, no, it's still, this one actually looks like it might be a plastic one on here, unfortunately, but this one still has metal. These are all still metal. Um, so I'd like to keep those. These go with my set that I have. Um, I bought these a long, long time ago. This one's actually one that I got at a garage sale in a box for, I believe I got this one for free actually, um, and some stuff that I got at some uh, yard sales. But anyhow, I'm going to rebuild these. They're still made of this. And basically, you need a pair of these. And these are, uh, of course, I'm going to forget the name of them when I start Doesn't using actually them. have the little holes like this one for the clip there. This one just has two uh, arms kind of sticking down in this down here. I'm going to grab a hold on each side, pull that in, and the whole thing is coming out. We hope. There we go. Now watch out, things don't completely fall apart to where you can't get them back in. So I'm going to lay these down kind of in the way, in order in which I'm pulling it off here. Not a whole lot to it, just some gears. Now there's also another one of these pieces here, these rings or keepers. I don't know, we're going to try and pull that off, you probably can't see a dang thing I'm doing. Well, I'm get this where I can actually get to it with it. There we go. And yet again, got another clip here. Goes in the little groove. I'm going to stick that in here. Now, there is a little ball bearing down in there. It's been a long time since I watched somebody tear one of these apart, so be careful. to well, let's see here can't use this to kind of I like having these little pans if something falls out it's not going to roll off the edge it'll just stay in the in there and there is there's like a little ball bearing in this one anyhow so and that goes down in here and there's a little spring down in there and and again, I'll just use this little tool here if I can get this out. There we go. Right in there, there's a little spring down in there that that ball bearing held on top of, and there's just a hole down in here. Probably can't see that. But it's fairly easy. Um, you have this this tool here. Here's actually some super clean. Um, I really like this stuff for cleaning greasy, nasty stuff out. Yet again, I'm doing it in this tray. Hopefully I can get some out of the bottle. Just gonna dump it out. And a toothbrush. Good old toothbrush. Nothing beats a toothbrush, especially a pink toothbrush. The pink ones work the best. Always. It's one of the best tips I could ever give you. Use a pink toothbrush for whatever it is you're doing. Like I said, it's going to be boring watching this, 
So I got some paper towel. I'm going to use some paper towel in here. Try and clean it up the best I can. Clean up all the parts and pieces the best I can. And when I do that, I'll get back at you. Kind of a little tip here. I was having trouble. I, had, I can get in here with the toothbrush and get most of the grime and nasty off here. But down in the little nooks and crannies, like especially like down inside here and stuff, um, what I got here is a copper wire. And uh, it works really well as kind of a little bristle brush. If you make a little short end, you can kind of really scrub and get, get into things. Hopefully you can see that. And it kind of works kind of like a wire brush, but it, the copper won't hurt anything. It won't, it, it'll damage this copper before it's going to damage any of the uh, surfaces of this metal here. So, and then if you got, you can have a longer one, kind of works more like an actual, you know, almost a paintbrush type situation, but you can kind of scrub things a little bit more. And it just gives you a little extra scrubbing power without worrying about harming anything. I was going to put some 3-in-1 lube on this and call it a day, but I remember seeing, it's been a long time ago now, um, somebody take this part, clean it up, and clean all the parts and pieces up. And then what they actually used was more of an actual grease. Um, now all I have is wheel bearing grease, and I know they used it quite sparingly um, so I'm going to do the same uh, and see how it works out I can always go in and put a little bit more um, now the first thing I'm going to put in here is this little spring and there's just a hole that goes drilled straight down right into the uh, bottom down here into the handle part and then there's a little ball bearing that goes on top of that and that's probably going to be the hardest part right there doing that a little screwdriver to kind of push that down and hopefully get the ball bearing on top and then lose the ball bearing dad blame it oh. alright well I got really lucky I just swept behind me in my shop um, so I actually found it um, there's a good chance you won't find it if you lose it like I just did so I'm going to hopefully be more careful now, I don't really want to put any grease too much down in this area but I think putting a little bit on where that spring is will maybe help hold it in there I don't even know hopefully you guys can see this and just now the little teeth section there's a, there that has a, on one side has the uh, groove and one side doesn't you want the groove towards you and then it's got kind of it kind of looks like a Batman shape these uh, teeth go towards the top. Okay, and this might be harder than it appears. But yet again, I always make everything look harder than it actually is. Well, it looks like this is going to definitely be trial and error, and if you attempt this make sure you're working over at least a pan and probably have uh, a good wide open space where you won't lose this ball bearing on the floor and I'm pushing that in there trying to kind of hold it on top of there and then bringing this down top there we go got it in there that is just going to be kind of trial and error on how well you do. And then your little thumb piece that kind of goes back and forth here. You got to get your spring that that goes around that. And because this isn't an actual like normal snap ring that has little holes on each side, the other one has that. 
uh, but for some reason this doesn't. I'm going to try to actually put this ring in my pliers here. Put that in there. And I'm going to squeeze it and put it in. Ah, look at that. That was a much easier way of doing it. So right off the bat, sure just do that. Working. Now I am going to put a decent amount of grease up in this area here on these teeth here. And kind of a little bit all the way around the edges here. Now there didn't seem to be very much in there and I'm sure as time goes on more and more probably seeps in from just working on greasy projects but I am not going to put a whole ton in there. I'm just going to put a little dabbing on everything here. on all these teeth and this will go down in here and I'm assuming that will do I'm actually going to take some of this the grease that squeezed out of here I'm actually going to take my rig and get some of that off of there I don't want a hole ton in there between these two pieces because I'm afraid that if you get too much in there uh, you know it's got to have room to move and they'll for lack of a better term hydro lock on you um, probably be okay but I'm going to put this oh, snap ring here in there again push that down Together. Still not a whole lot of ratcheting sound, but it's definitely moving a lot more freely than it was before. But we'll see. As far um, as this one here, there's no real way of lubing it or taking it apart. So I am just going to kind of throw some oil in here. It does actually say on here it says uh, keep well oiled which I've never actually oiled it and I don't see any any little holes or any place to actually to oil it so the only thing I can see is maybe throwing some 3-in-1 lube on here and put a generous amount and I'm just gonna let that soak in that three-in-one lube the rest of the night put a whole heap of a lot on there hopefully that'll maybe make that one work a little better we'll see all right keep an eye out for this one because I probably will do go ahead and do a separate video on this one uh, so if yours looks like this check it out out so this is Sam jack of all master none Y'all have a good one.